Okay, the rain has finally started to slow down, but uh, we still have a significant amount of water flowing through here. We have water stacking up against the shipping container. I'm gonna have to go inside and see if water got uh, inside of it or not, I don't know. Definitely carved my driveway out in spots. I don't see a lot of uh, mud buildup or anything on the driveway, so I'm just gonna have to probably reposition the cinders. For the most part, the driveway stayed in place. That's really good. So I don't know if you can tell, but out there, there is just a sheet of water. There's standing water all over everything, everywhere. And there's kind of a gentle flow of water going downhill that way. All that water is moving downhill. But basically, the entire property has about two inches of standing water on it everywhere. Everywhere. Look at that. I've never seen standing water there ever. I mean, look, my walk path to the generator is now a river. This is crazy. I got high water marking debris. <laughs> I cannot believe how much water is flowing through this property right now. I think it's safe to say that the road and the racetrack are going to be washed out pretty significantly. Well, I haven't felt the RV move, so nothing has undermined my jacks. That's good. I'm glad I built this driveway the way I did. You know, over there by the by that bathtub. The driveway's about eight inches thick, eight inches of cinders. Over by the shipping container, it's almost a foot thick. Made a difference. Okay, I'm braving coming out here in the thunder, wow, and the lightning, still probably too close. Just taking a quick look at the flood damage, wow, look at that. The flood went completely under the RV. Didn't mess with the jack pads though. I'm literally standing in a flash flood right now. Look at this river running through my driveway. Look at this. Looks like, yeah, all the rock is still there. All the rock is still there. Looks like it pushed one of the rocks out of the way, or no, it just went right over the top of it. Look at that. Yeah, some of my cinders washed out. Definitely some of my cinders washed out. Look at that, there's just a lake, just a river running. You can see that river running through the middle of the property down there. Well, this is definitely what would have filled up a pond. I'll tell you what. If we had a pond dug, it would be full. It would be totally full. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Let me walk over here. Oh, I'm just walking through a flood. So look at all this water coming out from under the shipping container. Look at this. This is just a river coming from under the shipping container. So this is coming. The shipping container sits on all that rock. So it's able to filter all this water through, look at that, no problem. This is awesome. It's doing what it's supposed to. Hopefully, the dirt underneath the shipping container doesn't get undermined, which would cause this thing to settle. I hope that doesn't happen. Looks like, looks like my rocks along the side moved a little bit. I won't know if the shipping container moved until I get inside of it. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah, I definitely got some cinders to put back. They wash down here to the end. Wow, look at this puddle. This isn't going to want to drain away anytime soon. I didn't even know this was a low spot. Huh. 
Wow. For the most part, the driveway stayed in place. Look at this. Some of it definitely moved. Oh, look at that. To give you an idea how much water we got look at my fire pit look at that let's find out how deep this is wow about three inches deep <laughs> look at that it's a i have a pond it's my fire pit looks like the rest of my driveway up there washed out down here this is a Sandbar looks like it's I don't know Two inches thick maybe a little thicker that got washed down here <laughs> Wow Well most of my cinders stayed in place and some of them did definitely moved Wow, this water's cold Oof. Shouldn't be out here right now Shouldn't be out here right now with a metal umbrella. Alright, all right, we'll come back out here in a few. Wow, look at all this. Water was puddling up against the container. Wow. Unbelievable. We just got the flash flood warning for this area. So this is my current weather radar. Here's the damage to the driveway. So got some straw that washed out of the garden area. So right there, looks like it excavated it down to the original level. So you can see the two and a half inches of material I had on there. And this is the fine stuff that gets down through the cinders. This is the, the fine cinders and actually makes a crust under the driveway. Looks like for the most part, that crust stayed intact over here look at that it kept the driveway from washing away looks like see a bunch of the bunch of what washed out from over there from over there ended up over here by the car same with this so you can see all the big rocks that are still in there and then now we're into just pure cinders that's why it didn't wash away because this section of the driveway is really thick Wow, that was quite a storm. Washed away my border rocks. Look at that. You see, this is that thickness I was talking about. You know, there's another six inches underneath this. It just doesn't wash away. I'm really glad I did this driveway the way I did. All right, let's go look around the property and see what we got. The buckets I put there for rainwater definitely got full. Whole river coming down through here. And once again, you can see the big rock is still pushed in there. Wow. Look at all this. Look at all this silt that washed in. sand wow it's very wet it's a lot of sand well looks like the driveway did not get washed out the way i thought it was gonna this is not as bad as i thought still pretty bad lost about two inches of material off of some of this Ground's very soft. Definitely, I'm glad I won't be driving on this for the rest of today. This 
So this is our road out here. <laughs> it is flooded. All right, let's go check this out and let's see, let's see how bad this got. So it looks like the water drained off most of the property so far. Wow, somebody drove through here. That is bad. Good thing they didn't get stuck. I think it was actually our friend Rady. I'm not sure what he was doing out driving in this kind of stuff. But yeah, all the material washed out and just left the rocks. So this road just got a lot rougher. This road just got a lot rougher. I mean, there, there was three inches of material on top of those rocks. It's gone. It's all washed away. Wow. Yeah, see, it, I think what washed away from those other areas washed, filled in right here. This used to be rock right here. Look at the difference. You can see the two different levels. Wow. This is all the material that was farther up the road. So this, this got about, uh, this got filled in. Gained about two to three inches right here. Yeah, this is all, this wasn't here before. Nope. That all just got washed in. Well, at least we know where the material went. Wow. A lot of material washed on onto here. All the material that was on the move, it all, it all kind of stopped right here. It's all, a lot of it's all sand. Very thick. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of roads around here washed out, that's for sure. See what happened here on the property. Okay, so this spot over here where I was off of the racetrack where I talked about making a pond, it was already full of water this morning. All of this was full of water this morning. So this pond right here, look at this. It overflowed out here. I could have captured all this water. Yeah, I need to make a pond right here. I bet you, we'll come back and check it tomorrow. I bet you it's still full. And my feet are soaked. Wow. This is something else. For the most part, most of the spots on the track drained off because I dug the drainage, so it looks like it worked. Definitely helped. Yeah, we had some rivers running down here on the road, but you know what? It didn't wash out as bad as I thought. It's good. Must have been packed down pretty well. Wow. Look at this big sandbar. It washed down. Wow, look at this. That's like... Two inches of sand 